All right, YouTube, I am Dirty Kitty Litter, and we're gonna get into soldering a little bit for 3D printers. Um, you're gonna wanna take as little as possible. That's what I do, um, just a little bit. We're gonna be specifically focusing on GST connectors, okay? My solder iron's already hot, so I'm gonna put it on the table with a tool in the end to help keep it away from the workbench. I'm gonna wick it, which was what I was taught, means just prime it, get some solder hot on that um, solder iron. So now my wires that I need to connect to the GST are primed, they have solder on them, they're good to go. So with your GST connectors, I highly suggest you build, if you don't have one, a cable. It doesn't have to have the little heat shrink on it, that doesn't really matter, um, but for all intents and purposes, this is this is smart. So. We're gonna plug this guy in, and that allows me something to grip, and it also allows or forces the pins to stay flush because that metal is gonna get hotter than the plastic, and the plastic will start to warp and melt. So again, I'm gonna wick the solder iron. I'm going to put solder on the pin, the electrical connectors. I wanna make sure that the solder is all the way on there, and you can tell that because it changes color and it looks kind of liquidy. Then what we're gonna do is take the parts, the other pieces, the wires, and we're going to touch them together on there, really hot-like, and go for it. So if you have a solder station or some kind of hands to crimp it or whatever, all the more better, more power to you. That'll just make this process so much simpler. And I wanna show you a couple things. Um, I'm a fan of conserving heat shrink, so I feel like uh, less is more personally. So I'm gonna cut these bad boys down a little bit. And on that JST connector that we just did, um, what I like to do is put heat shrink on these to ensure that the connectors are good and solid. And so typically I use lighter. I don't have one in here. My wife must have taken it. But for the example, um, we can still progress here a little bit. What I do is I'll, I'll heat shrink these and then um, come back with a step up or maybe two steps up of heat shrink over it like that. And I'll cut it a little bit shorter than what these are and I'll show you what that looks like right now. And the reason I do that is um, just years of doing automotive stuff, um, you know, being an engine builder and all that, racing, whatnot. But you want something like that. If you want true function and form, you want it to look great then uh, you'll you'll measure out on like a metric ruler and chop that heat shrink where you want it. It's not necessary, especially for, for hobby printers and stuff, but um, that's the way to do it. 